I thought I'd demonstrate how that uh, PL259 connectors, often termed UHF connectors, are not really UHF connectors whatsoever. They only are good up to maybe 100 mega, 150 megahertz. You might get away with them at 220 without having too much uh, difficulty, but by the time you get to 400 megs, and certainly by higher frequencies, um, they, they just aren't very good. So I've got my uh, test set up here with the 6 dB pad coming out of the uh, tracking generator to this port. And then the 3 dB pad here is going uh, over to the uh, spectrum analyzer input port here. Got nothing on there right now so we can uh, get the tracking generator normalized. I'll turn it off. It was normalized before. I've got 10 dB uh, reference level. And uh, we'll turn it back on. It will uh, sweep twice. First, it'll get the reference uh, trace like it's doing now. I'm using uh, a bandwidth of uh, 10 kilohertz to get the best signal of the noise that I can have and still use the uh, tracking generator. And now it's going across at uh, zero and has put zero 10 dB down below the uh, top of the screen. So as you see, uh, we're at 5 dB per division. It takes uh, 15 seconds to go across the screen, but that's okay uh, because we've got all kinds of time, right? <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to take the ZFDC um, 20 and uh, it's a 20 dB coupler, put a uh, 30 dB pad on there, so we should have at least 30 dB of return loss. Uh, down in the lower frequencies here, obviously we do. Uh, but it's only around 20 dB up in these higher frequencies. This is 1300 megs. As you see, we have 20, uh, let's see, 32 at 10 megs, at 50 meg, 150 megs, about 28 at uh, 450, and uh, about 19 and a half maybe at uh, 1300 megs up here. So that's as good as we're going to get, uh, and we're using a, a pretty good uh, mini circuits 30 dB attenuator here. Now what I've got here is uh, some adapters, and uh, this is a um, type in in both cases. This is BNC in both cases, which is very similar to type in, except not the larger uh, threaded version, it's bayonet version. And this are, um, is uh, UA UHF connectors, so-called, uh, PL259. So first let's uh, put this thing in and see what it looks like over this frequency spread. If I put that on and then put this on there, as you see it climbs up pretty fast here as we go up uh, frequency here. And we've got uh, 31 dB at 10 megs, uh, 22 at uh, 150 megs. At 450, we have 13.2 and minus 6, well, minus 7 dB at uh, 1300 megs. So obviously, uh, in the 300 to 3000 UHF spectrum, it's not a UHF connector. <laughs> it uh, might be a VHF connector, but not a UHF connector. And uh, I can I have two sets of these, and I, I can put either one in. I'll get that same response. We'll go to the uh, we'll go to the uh, uh, bayonet type NC connector here, and let's see what that looks like. Oh. I goofed up. <laughs> Put the wrong thing on here. Uh, we'll go to the bayonet uh, type NC connector here. And I'll put the uh, load on there. And as you see, we have a much better situation here. We have... Uh, man, we're going to have to let it sweep twice here. There. Now we have it. 31.8 uh, at 10 megs, 150 it's 27.3, 22.25 at uh, 450, and at uh, 1300 it's uh, 34 dB.
Needless to say, that's a lot better than the uh, UHF connector, so-called. And uh, that's uh, well under 1.1 uh, to 1, I believe. So that, that set of connectors works fine. Now I'm going to use the type N connectors here. And we'll start this over as soon as I get that on there by going to tracking generator, turning it off, turning it back on. And as you see, we're down here at 30, 1.8 at 10 megs at 150 megs. Looks like we're at 29. At uh, 450, it's 28, well, almost 29. And gets up to about uh, 20.7 at uh, 1300 gigahertz. Uh, 1300 megahertz, excuse me, 1.3 gigahertz. So just a, a, a quick look at type N connectors versus uh, BNC connectors uh, versus the uh, uh, so-called UHF connector. Needless to say, I wouldn't use a UHF connector above two meters. Um, however, some equipment that has UHF connectors on them for 400 megs, like ham equipment, may be tuned uh, properly for um, matching into the cable uh, with that type of connector. So you have to consider that too, but uh, for broadband stuff for certain, um, UHF connectors are not much good above 200 megahertz.